my channel. So today I have a super fun summer recipe for you. It is really yummy and of course if it's on my channel it is very easy to make. So we recently got back from the beach with my in-laws and my sister-in-law and her husband live in Charleston and they did a low country boil for us and it was so delicious. And when I got home, I was just really wanting to have it again. So I did some research and I discovered that you can actually do these in a crock pot. So I tried it out, it turned out delicious. My husband said he really liked it. So I definitely think we'll be doing this again during now, the summer Now I will say months. on the end, I'm gonna jump back in because I got caught up at the store when I was filming this and did not get to film the last few steps, but I will come back on and tell you how to finish out the recipe. So for the crock pot low country boil, you will need some old bay seasoning, smoked sausage, red potatoes, and onion and then some corn on the cob and then you also need some shrimp i'm using cooked frozen shrimp but you can use fresh i'm going shrimp. to very thoroughly rinse and wash my red potatoes wash the potatoes and i did use a peeler just to peel off a few little rough spots on the potatoes that I didn't like. You are going to start by putting six cups of water into your slow cooker. So I'm starting with four and then I will add the additional two cups. All right, here's the extra two cups going in. Next, you're going to add your red potatoes into the water. Okay, so the actual recipe calls for one lemon sliced and you would be adding the lemon slices. I don't actually have a lemon, so I'm just going to add a couple of sprigs. To add in the one fourth a cup of Old Bay seasoning. I am going to give all those ingredients a nice stir. And now I'm just gonna put the lid on and I am going to set this to cook for two and a half hours on low. corn cobs into like three different pieces. Unfortunately, I have had this corn for a little bit in the fridge, so I'm probably not gonna be able to use the top pieces, but I'll be able to use um, the bottom half. All right, I have cut my corn and that was much harder than I thought it would be. There's literally like corn splattered everywhere. All right, now that my corn is chopped, I am going to start on cutting up my sausage. And for this, I'm not gonna do thin little slices, but I don't want too big of chunks just because I don't like to eat that. So I'm gonna do um, sort of medium slices. This is about how big I am going to make them. I have added in the corn and the sausage and now I'm going to let this cook for an additional um, two hours and about 30 minutes before it's time to eat, I'm going to add in the All shrimp. Right, I'm back. 
So to finish out the recipe, after your corn and sausage has cooked for about an hour and a half to two hours, you're just going to take your shrimp, put it into the crock pot, give it a little stir, and then bump your heat up to high and cook it for about 30 minutes. Now I actually used pre-cooked shrimp that was just frozen. So I just put it in actually for only about 10 or 15 minutes, just long enough to get it warmed up. But that is the last step. It is really pretty and easy recipe and it is delicious. So if you make this at home, I would love to hear down in the comments what you thought, if you thought it was comparable to the traditional uh, low country boil. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have fun cooking.